Welcome back to the Summer Wildflowers Beat Along and we are on lesson two for making these Shasta daisies. The goal is to make this Summer Wildflowers arrangement. For lesson two today, we'll be working on the center. Stay tuned. Hello, my beautiful people. My name is Fen Lee, designer here at the Bead Flower Studio and author to the book Bead Flora, the revival of French Bead of Flowers. If you are new to bead and wire flowers, check out the playlist if you like to learn more. It looks intimidating, but it's easier than you think. I have some beginner kits in my Etsy shop if you like to get started. Today, we'll be working on the center. Show you how to make the center and the technique we'll be using is the beehive and i already have some yellow beads already strung onto 24 gauge silver wire you can also use gold and for the top basic wire we'll leave um, four inches you can eyeball it but i'm just going to measure it right here so we'll leave four inches for the top basic frame for the top basic wire I'm going to make a one bead basic. Make the basic um, loop and twisted wire to be about four inches also. So the pattern calls for one bead basic. This is going to be rounded top and rounded bottoms with 12 rows. So first we're gonna make um, the first three rows. And then because this is a beehive, we're going to bend the um, twisted wire down into an end shape. Twisted wire and the top basic frame down like this. And now we're going to wrap around at this angle. And put your finger into the center. So now I have all 12 rows done and the um, working wire is by the um, top basic wire here. So twist these two down together just slightly, maybe about um, a quarter of an inch and then cut another tail off of the spool. So now that you will have four bottom wires. And do the knot over here and cut this here. With the center, bend the um, ending tail wires towards the center and then away right at the middle here. So here we have a beehive with a one bead basic, rounded top, rounded bottom with 12 rows. 
And the next lesson will be working on the leaves. If you make any of my flowers, I always love seeing them. Tag me on Instagram or Facebook and I may feature it in a future video. Also join me in the Learn How to Make French Beaded Flowers Facebook group to join the community of other French beaders to show off your flowers. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed this tutorial and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye!